little revenge putt. This is to get my solo third at Worlds that I missed. Oh, no! Well, good thing that didn't happen. I would have got sixth place, so. All right, guys, welcome back to Ace Run Pro. We're here at the Emporia Country Club, and uh, we are going to head to the back nine and see what things look like in the back of the woods. Another new hole, back-to-back -back hole 10, Country Club. Par four now used to be a little corkscrew, kind of sidearm uh, par three. And then you got the highway here. And then uh, now it's a gut shot. Got a little sneaky hill. You can't see it. Kind of creeps over there. You want to keep it as close to that as possible. Want to get into the field and just try to make it as far as possible. I like this new change. It just makes it to where if you hit early, I feel like it's a little more punishable than the old pin. So expect a little more variety this year. The Maverick? Yeah, or should I hit my, my little three wood? Three wood, okay. A three wood, oh, I'll get three wood. Something, a little, something with a little extra sauce. A little pepper on it. Bro! I'm gonna play that one for the fans too, just to, just to show them. But I also gonna throw nothing. That's gonna happen a lot That's, in this one. Got, I have potential. Let me see how I can. Is it smart to go like early left of that split tree? I'm kind of thinking about just ripping something at the tree, that little split leg tree. Oh. Well, almost got right through. I kind of like aiming at that tree though. Controlled roller. We'll play it out. Just gonna hope for the best of it. There it is. Come on, shot. We'll see. That was lucky. Yeah, big shot. Probably carpet. Ah! I must have skidded through that because my disc is covered in doo doo. Ew. Nice. Good get. Ugh. Hole 11, another new one, Country Club, par three. Very triangular shaped hole, par three, 395, 316 for the ladies. Just kind of has that very triangular, kind of sneaks up from both sides hole. More uphill probably than the camera does like it always. It's kind of just in between a fairway and thing it just you definitely don't want to throw a B on this shot that's all I can tell mm -hmm. oh, I like that one yeah that's right all right sweet thank you This hole's harder than I thought it was. I thought this one was in the circle. It does look like the left side bells out a little more than I assumed. Not so deadly triangle. Ooh, wow. Nice. Oh. oh. All good. Dirty. I always say, if they feel good, I don't... Thanks, man. I got 
got the same one. one. I got the you got same one. one out too. I got it. I got it. Warlord. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Almost top the basket. Well, let me put the honor on this first little film. Make sure it ain't camera shot. You know. 404. Air 404. Asking a not lot found. for that honor, but I'm still going to get it. <laughs> Dog. Dang, that was pretty far. You said it's real grabby. It is a little grabby for sure. That should have been out of bounds. I might just go with the flow again. But does she have the south? She didn't have I'm making this all hard. Is it that little like low hanging branch right there? I feel I like that one to, is just like right, it's like right where I I just need to rip it. it to that six tree and if just I can let throw it do it its forward. thing. If I can throw it that far. Stuck in between. I need to beat this thing up more is what I need to do. Ooh, yas. Oh. Pumped. Oscar yeah. Oscar Bravo. God dog it. And then the first one stayed inbound. That easy one. Makes no sense. But you gotta love it. Come on, enforcer, enforce! <laughs> there you go. That's the distance. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> boom, boom. All right. Love people that have their own putting styles. So fun to watch. Yeah, all right. Heck yeah. And everyone has mastered their own style, which I think is even more impressive than mastering like one style. It is. And it seems like the greatest putters in the world usually have their own specific style. You yeah. know, you never really see somebody that comes along and kind of does the same thing come out to be, you know. Physiologically, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Our, we're built so different. There we go. Love that grace. So tempted because I know I can get over that. It's literally 300 feet. But I just don't know if it's like the strategy. Because I feel like I can still get a three pretty decently from the left side. Shoot. That shot's just tricky as hell. I don't know. Like, both of the shots are tricky as hell for me because, like, that's just like a super risky maneuver for what like, it's like a even, lot of funny business. I remember at Worlds last year, I threw sort of the bush turnover and it was still pretty playable. So I don't think necessarily getting past that bush is, is what you need. Not, a, not as far back as you think it's going to be. And didn't, I feel like they pulled the left OB in oh, too. Because I feel like in. you used to be able to play wide. For sure. That makes it harder to go and for because you got to get the yeah. height and then it just. It's a real weird shot. It, I think. Like honestly, I wouldn't know what the hell to throw on that shot if I laid it up. I would, I would probably lay it up short of the bush myself. Just. That looks super crunked, dude. You freaking put that extra genetically modified oh, beef on that one. Boom. Yeah. If this if this was all like hazard. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think go for it. What about the smooth warship? Yeah. Literally what I was about to pull out of my bag. The woods warship. I like that one. I like that right there. Beautiful. Hey, go on with your bad self. That's something. Boom. There we go. Last year, that would have been a gangster too, but this year, still really good too, but I see a lot more open players going for it. Just a lot more. You can come out here, even just playing it out here for the safe part if it gets like kind of crazy windy. 
definitely more favorable favorable to the players but see see most of the female side <laughs> playing it the old school way and it's a lot trickier with that side so I see the FPO side being pretty interesting on the sole there it is this is the one hole it's like fun to kind of like show off on because the roller can make you look really good on this hole and it kind of does all the work for you I'm gonna just try to put this one in play I'm, just, I'm gonna go big on second shot Come on back now. You here? I like that over there, though. I do like the line close to the, the fence. I think it plays well. Oh, they scooted it? Oh, my God. I just, the gravity on this one will suck it left a lot more. So just I like, like hole one. It. Yeah, it does. So I kind of, I like going small and then big on this one. I like the right line as opposed to the left. I think Matt's right. That gravity just, like, sucks you way left. And then as a right hand, backhand dominant player the right hand the right side line sets me up for another right hand backhand shot so it just kind of like keeps me out of trouble i always say like for me at least like if i throw a forehand it gets me into forehand trouble that only another forehand would like get me out of i don't know if anybody else experiences that but that's like a weird forehands get you into forehand trouble and backhands like get you into backhand trouble sometimes uh my opto my opto x chameleon ballista has been flying really nice so i think i might just try and give her a yeet down that way and have it hyzer and hopefully hyzer before the ob yeah totes i mean that's pretty good if i could have just hit the line that i like <laughs> you know wanted let's try let's try that albert tam ballista pro again let's see and i think I think I just over exaggerated my line just a tiny bit. No, I can't tell. The old Mississippi three step. I can't tell if I need to start off of it or on it. Can't tell. But all, both of those are in play. Like you I said. I feel like this is another one too where the, the closer you get to the end, the more that left tree kind of gets brought in. So almost kind of. Staying back just a hair. Kind Helps of keeps you shape it that good. angle. Uh, yeah, just that's that little like foot or two makes a tremendous difference. Exactly it. The positioning is super duper important. We'll see how that works. It's hard to tell you that self when you're on the tee box. So. Good. Bounce back that thing. I think you were right. That left side, I think, sets me up way better. Yeah, I like this. I mean, if I, if I boom my drive up there. I'm still going to pitch it up short probably anyway, so I like this game plan. It's a clean rip. Yeah, that'll play. It's a little longer than I thought that shot was, but we'll take it. So I think it's gonna, I'm going to do something weird that might be like counterintuitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I see like a weird line. I see like Ooh, this little says no. like stance, this little hyzer shot here. And I think, yeah, we gonna do patent pending standstill with the moonshine enforcer. No. Well, that's what I wanted, but that was like way short. <laughs> and I think that puts me in a decent position to lay up. I forgot it, it slopes. Like this or like this? It goes like this. Like this? Like it runs. Gotcha. Or maybe I want to just skip left. That's a good one to see how it... That's a good feeler shot. This is again my like tricky approach... Approach distance that's been like biting me lately. So let's see if we can just get a nice... A nice beautiful approach shot. Nice and smooth with the harp. I feel like that might be a little bit long, but that went really nice. Damn, I didn't think mine was gonna land there any. I thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah. See, that's why I said it's a good feeler because I thought that landed over there and it's here, so. Nice uphill putt, easy. Well, four and a half mile an hour tailwind. <laughs> 4.5. Kind of right to left. 
See, 4.5, 4 I call that headwind because it's only in your head. Yeah, that's true that. <laughs> but I got that high putt, so I got to put right? that little sternness in it, though. And I'm also, like, top five worst uphill putters on Pro Tour. <laughs> but I'm one of the top five best uphill downhills, though. Uphill putting is, is a skill. It is. And... It's like if you those don't... guys that sling it down here and those guys that have the big fingers make it look so easy because they just you're telling me about big well fingers. they got those other guys <laughs> fingers are like out here so they literally no, yeah. cup their just like almost like a cornhole bag yeah and they're just pitching it while we're still throwing frisbees so, they're tossing course cornhole bags and we're throwing frisbees <laughs> one thing i think about too is like i'm five five and then eagle is like he looks the baskets look different to him he literally puts down at a basket when I put shoulder level at a basket. It's another thing about like people with different putting styles mm -hmm. is like your stature in relation to the basket. It's easier for y'all to keep it flat though. Yes, versus because us, literally we like, gotta like even like Climo, <laughs> he was tall back and he had to like release there to kind of like, keep it flat. So everybody like it's li like shoulder height is perfect. So if I'm at like a 25 footer, literally just like release it right here. It's like it's so it's fun. See, I always have to go straight. I just have to play the downwards. Not yeah, the, you've got to like fall into I, the basket. I have to actually play the drop instead of like, going right at it. Come on, Flintstone, sir. Well, ma. Well, sir. I want to try like throwing a long one anyway, just because it's fun. It's got that straight Flintstone color. Mm. Bump and run. Hey, I like the way that disc flies though. Which one's that? That's a Ballista Pro Gold Line. It's like, it's the perfect Ballista Pro for me because it's not like overstable. Like they can kind of get and they just like I drop like out of the sky. Right there. I'll try throwing in my basket now. <laughs> Take it a little wider. That works. Very common miss right there, but effective. That's very the most common miss right there. There we go. Hey, I can tell the catch better though, huh? Heck yeah. I mean that too. Heck yeah. That's another one I feel like as a right-handed backhand player on tour, you should birdie this one two out of three minimum. Two out of three. I ain't throwing no, no numbers this week, so I had to give one. I've definitely got like both options that I kind of will like the safe, the safe option and like the aggressive option. Cause I know I can get to the island, but like I haven't gotten over the mental part of like just putting it, the, just yeah. putting it on the green. Mm -hmm. Like you normally would if there were no water, that's like exactly where you would want to be. Sounds like you put a dollar on there and it forces you to get it close. That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do we throw best of three dollars? Do we do a dirty dollar? Oh, I'm gonna go with this bard. I've been thinking about this hole since I knew I wasn't playing no tournaments until this one. And I think this is the one I've decided. This is such a, like an in-between shot hole. You have to either have a really awesome, trustworthy mid, or you gotta just be touchy as heck. Which I almost at that point think it brings the sidearm more because it's just so hard to touchy driver. I just try to throw it into the fence, honestly. Not into the fence, but try to bring it back that way. Easy, right past the sign. Mm. What I meant is I thought about which one I was going to lose so I could put another one in my bag is what I really meant. I know, but if I, I don't know if I have a replacement for this if I throw it in though. We do have a warehouse full of discs. I, so I actually wanted to, so what, it, how, like, I know it's probably like a hot mess over there, but like, can, can we go we hang you. out? Yeah. Cool. They even let me in, so I think you got it. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's only 320. Be confident. Let it fly. Oh, 
Oh, get in the hole. That looks great. Oh! I touched. At least I think touched. it's still safe though. It's it might. Be. There's there's a line. Oh, there's a yes, because they don't want you putting from that yeah, like raggedy yeah, little yeah, area down there. I loved like 99% of that. Dude, oh. I thought that was in too. That's one thing I tell everybody. I've played, I played a lot of disc golf courses and there ain't many pieces of water I've thrown in and been like, man, that looks like a really good place to swim. That's never. Just a, never. That's probably, they probably do that on purpose and then to they got keep that you one from getting in the Fox water. Run on hole four or five, but it's always too cold to go swimming. So that one don't even count. And I always want to swim in that one too. That looks like a nice little swim hole too. This one hasn't changed much, has it? Uh, Still just, or yeah, other than the OB left. Yeah, I like yeah. that a lot. The warship. I like the conservative on this one. It's so like, it's so hard for me to do the conservative. Like you were saying earlier, it's so hard like when you step up to the tee box. Mm -hmm. So like actually do it when there's that little like dip mm -hmm. on your shoulder. And then like, like if you're not on the box during the tournament and then you see a couple people do it, you're like, I man. I hate that. Oh, I hate it when people make you change your game uh, plan. No, it's me the too. worst. I'm getting so old, man. I'm about to have to buy a bush nail. I can't <laughs> tell what 210 to 280 is now. Ooh, that's a tricky one. It's two nine or 390. That's pushing the sauce. But we're going to be brave and we're going to try it again. Because I'm not afraid of laying up, but these this. chicks is good. And they'll take strokes if you give them to them. There it is. Dang, that's shy. Oh, Let me try this. That was a sweet shot. Okay, not shabby, not shabby. Not as pretty, but yeah. still very good. Circle's edge. Right at my shoulder. Alright. And it was in. So I got some exciting news to bring to y'all. One of the big questions I always get while I'm on the course is where did you get that polo and how I get it? Well now you can actually get you a Matteo custom polo. So I've teamed up with Flight Factory Disc to do some Matteo polo. So if you want your Matteo polo, Flight Factory Disc is where you get it. And to the last new fix of the year, Hole 18, 709 Country Club. Pretty much the same thing as everything in the past, but the new tee box to the left side versus the old tee box right over here with the little blue cone on it. But pretty much the same thing, except for a little bit more of a hysery. I feel like the last tee box kind of wanted to bend it a little more. It kind of forces you a little more hysery, but pretty much the same as the past, just the new tee box. Look for big, crazy finishes this weekend. Every week, it seems like it's just packed full straight leaderboard only a couple strokes away i looking at the weather i feel like it's going to be the same way this week it doesn't seem like it's going to be too windy i feel like the score is going to be good tight it's the same way they've been all year so let's see if matradamus is right or wrong center cut well, it's uh, 417 feet, which is really hard for me to birdie. I mean, I can throw kind of far, but that's like, that's hard to slap that down like on it's, a lock for me right four. now. It's par four. Yeah, oh yeah, so yeah, so it's just gonna be, a, it's gonna be easy three for me. Yeah, I think you got think. two 209s in you. Yeah. Really? 
You got all that airspace. We'll try one. We'll put a little. We'll, 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 I still we'll, really like. I think that would be pretty stoked. I wouldn't be unhappy with it. it. I think I was more so unhappy with the execution because it wasn't on purpose. I'll see you try that vandal. All right, all right. I like it. Easy to throw, nice and straight. About seventy-six percent slight hydra, wide. About eight feet off the ground. Maybe nine. Maybe nine. That, that's so much for me. <laughs> you nine feet. <laughs> well, yeah, with the uphill included. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think my palm be sweaty. She came out early. 80%. Otherwise, that was really close to I doing like exactly it, what you said. I like that. I think the vandal could be a good shot. I like it. I like it. Try to do that little Vinny little pullover. See, and then this, this, I think this course and this tournament might be exactly what I need to kind of like challenge this timidity that I've been like feeling with approaches at this like 120 to 155 foot distance because I'm seeing my like my tee shots are putting me in that position quite a lot. So I think this is going to be a really fun tournament to try and like challenge myself a little bit in that aspect. And hopefully they go like that. <laughs> and if they don't, it's still gonna be okay. Empty basket, right Empty here, right basket. now. Little revenge putt. This is to get my solo third at Worlds that I missed. Redo. All right, we've got Matt Orem approaching outside the circle. <laughs> oh no! Well, good thing that didn't happen. I would have got sixth place, so <laughs> it's a good thing that everything goes for a reason. And it wasn't too bad. No. Okay, let's get one more just to finish it out right. Just to finish it out right with some, nice made, right. With some nice made putts. What, from there? All right. Last one. Make myself feel good for dinner so the food tastes just a little better. This golf totally, let me crack at that one. Let me crack at that. Still salty. Aww. It's an intimidating play right there. It is, it is. But it's like, just get it up there and then let it fall in. Me, 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 me. Just get it up there, let it fall in. Easy. Let it fall in. Right there. Dude, disc golf totally makes food taste better. It does. It Especially when you make that last putt <sighs> and their stuff. It makes your bed more comfortable. It does. It makes your shower more relaxing. Most of the time. Most of the time. Most, yeah. I mean, depending on the day you've had. Hey, Si, is this your dollar? Yeah, I think I won that back. All right. Yes, you did. Her kind of. Boom. I touched the island. Take Let's go. That was super fun. That was super Thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. That was the beautiful Emporia Country Club. A few minor adjustments and a few little changes to kind of work with. Beautiful out here. What did you think? Loved it. It's a little more like, greener than I remember last time from World. A little few changes, but... A little bit fluffier. A little fluffier. A little skippier in a couple spots too. Yeah. But got a little, little changes, but overall I think it'll be a good old time. Looks like pretty fair weather this year. Kind of, so nothing crazy like normal. So. I'm excited to see the players tear this course up this weekend. Thanks for watching Ace Run Productions. Holla at your boy next time. Holla at your girl next time. This is Warlord. Boop.